Earlier this week, Binghamton University held its seventh annual Bearcats Celebrating Women's Athletics Luncheon and Auction. We had the chance to chat with those who helped make the event a success, and this year's keynote speaker, Olympic swimmer and gold medalist, Amanda Beard. Let's take a look. This is our seventh annual luncheon. One of our women board members in the Binghamton University Athletic Club thought it would be a good idea to get some of the influential women in our community to come to campus to hear about our female student athletes. The event gave them their special opportunity to support our program financially. We started with 75 women seven years ago. Today we expect to have 600 people from the community. I like doing things where I feel like I have a connection and a bond with certain people and obviously women's sports and athletics is something that I really have that connection with. So I like to kind of share my story and the things that I've gone through with, with others, especially younger, you know, high school age kids and things like that, just to let them know that, you know, push through and have fun with it. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with um, going through ups and downs in your athletic career. I'm just so excited for the experience that I've had here. Five years at Binghamton, you know, on a scholarship. I'm so fortunate, you know, to be one of the few girls in the country, you know, that's able to have the experience. And not only have I been able to play for a team, but I've been here at a university, which is one of the top ranked state universities in the country, which is an amazing experience. To be able to have the opportunity to to be an athlete, to get a scholarship to a school, to, you know, compete in college and it is life-changing and it's amazing and to have that gift to give to other females is just you, you, you can't get a gift like that it's irreplaceable and I you know title nine has been such an amazing impact on women's lives you know it's given me the opportunity to come here and I hope that you know females in the future are able to do that and with the scholarships that we've just um, you know with the money that we've just acquired here through the uh, the luncheon, we're able to give back and to create even more opportunities for women. This Title IX has been huge for, for females across the board and like we were talking about, it's just to be able to get that chance to, to compete on a collegiate, collegiate level, get an amazing education, it, it, gives, it gives so much hope. It's something that's been life-changing to so many females out there and that it is important to emphasize how women can excel not only in sports but in life. This event emphasizes the fact that we continue to need the necessary funding to make this happen. So the advice that I try to give a lot of younger athletes and, and female athletes is to really just enjoy it. As of right now, there is absolutely no reason for me to continue doing what I do. I mean, the only reason I do it is because I have fun with it. There's, I have nothing to prove to anybody, I just, I have fun. I'm excited about the future for this event. It's gonna be even better than ever, every year.